Welcome to a new year, 2024. A year for a new you, a year to leave behind old myths and misconceptions, especially when it comes to fitness. Today, we're diving headfirst into the realm of fitness facts and fiction. We'll be debunking some of the most common fitness myths that have been circulating around and we'll be doing so with the power of scientific evidence. Prepare to have your mind opened and your workout routines revolutionized. So get ready to dispel seven fitness myths you should leave behind in 2024. Myth number one, eating breakfast boosts your metabolism. This statement is as common as a morning cup of joe. But how much truth does it hold? Well, according to scientific research, not much. Studies have shown that there's no significant difference in the resting metabolic rate between those who eat breakfast and those who don't. That's right, whether you're reaching for the cereal box or hitting the snooze button, your metabolism doesn't bat an eyelid. It's not about when you eat, but what you eat and how much that truly impacts your metabolism. So, don't feel pressured to chow down on breakfast if you're not a morning muncher. And if the sun's rise is your culinary cue, carry on. Your metabolism is flexible, adaptable, and not dictated by the breakfast bell. So, whether you're an early bird or a late riser, your metabolism isn't bothered. Myth number two, you can target fat loss through specific exercises. You've probably heard this one before. Do crunches to burn belly fat, or tricep dips to lose arm flab. But the truth is, it's not that simple. Research shows that when you exercise, fat loss occurs throughout your body, not just in the areas you're working on. This is because your body burns fat for energy, and it doesn't discriminate where that fat comes from. Think of it like draining a pool. The water level drops evenly, not just in one corner. So, while targeted exercises can help strengthen specific muscles, they won't exclusively burn fat in those areas. Spot reduction is a myth. Fat loss is a whole body process. Myth number three. Drinking water directly leads to fat loss. Now who wouldn't love that? Just imagine every sip of water melting your fat away. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. While water is essential for our bodies to function optimally, it isn't a magic potion for weight loss. However, water does play an indirect role in your fitness journey. Drinking water can help you feel fuller. Ever noticed how having a glass of water before a meal makes you eat a bit less? That's because it takes up space in your stomach, making you feel satisfied sooner. It can also prevent overeating, as sometimes our bodies confuse thirst for hunger. So, the next time you feel an unexpected hunger pang, try having a glass of water first. Moreover, staying well hydrated can have a positive impact on your overall health and well-being. It aids digestion, keeps your skin glowing, and even boosts your energy levels. So, while water won't melt your fat away, it does keep you hydrated, might keep you from reaching for that extra snack, and contributes to a healthier lifestyle. Remember, there are no shortcuts in fitness. It's all about balance and consistency. Myth number four, drinking milk is bad for your heart. This is a common belief that has been swirling around for quite some time. But let's pour out the truth, shall we? Numerous studies have shown that there is no direct link between milk consumption and heart diseases. In fact, some research even suggests that milk may have a protective effect on the heart. It's important to remember that while milk does contain saturated fats, it also provides essential nutrients like calcium, protein, and vitamins. These nutrients can contribute to a healthy diet and lifestyle, which is ultimately what's best for your heart. So, the next time you're sipping on your favorite latte or enjoying a bowl of cereal, remember this fact and let it ease your heart. So, enjoy your milk, it's not the heartbreaker it's made out to be. Myth number five, the concept of body types, endomorph, mesomorph, ectomorph. This classification made popular by psychologist William Sheldon back in the 40s has been widely used, but it's not as black and white as some may think. Let's break it down. Sheldon's theory suggests that everyone falls into one of these three body types. Endomorphs characterized by a larger bone structure and tendency to store more body fat. Mesomorphs naturally muscular with a lower body fat percentage. And ectomorphs typically lean and long with difficulty building muscle. But here's the catch. This theory doesn't account for the fact that our bodies are a lot more complex and diverse than these three categories. It doesn't take into consideration that body composition can change over time due to factors such as diet, exercise, lifestyle, and even age. For instance, an individual who was once an ectomorph could potentially gain muscle and become more mesomorphic with consistent strength training and a high-protein diet. Similarly, an endomorph could lose weight and become leaner, resembling more of an ectomorph or mesomorph. 
And let's not forget about the numerous people who don't neatly fit into any of these categories. What about them? They are proof that the human body is not a one-size-fits-all model. So, before you box yourself into a particular body type and let it dictate your fitness journey, remember this. You are not confined to a specific category. Your body is capable of change, and it's this ability to adapt that makes us unique. Your body type isn't your destiny, it's just a starting point. Myth number six, detox diets cleanse your body. Now this concept has been floating around for a while and it's high time we address it. The idea that you need to go on a specific diet to detoxify your body is a myth. Here's why, your body is already equipped with a natural detox system. Yes, you heard it right. Your liver and kidneys are the unsung heroes constantly working to filter out and eliminate toxins from your body. The liver, your body's largest internal organ, neutralizes harmful substances we ingest like alcohol and drugs. It also processes nutrients from food into forms easier for the rest of your body to use. On the other hand, your kidneys filter out waste products from your blood and regulate the balance of salt and water in your body. So instead of investing in these so-called detox diets, focus on maintaining a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and getting regular exercise. This supports your body's natural detoxification system and promotes overall health. Remember, there are no shortcuts to a healthy body. Trust your body, it's a natural detox machine. And there you have it. Seven fitness myths you should leave behind in 2024. We've busted the myth about breakfast-boosting metabolism, exposed the truth about targeted fat loss, and laid to rest the misconception that drinking water directly leads to fat loss. We've also cleared up the confusion around drinking milk and heart health, debunked the concept of rigid body types, and unmasked the reality of detox diets. Remember, when it comes to fitness, it's crucial to rely on science over hearsay. Fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all journey, it's a personal path that varies for each individual. So, disregard the myths, listen to your body, and lean on the facts. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below. And don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart your fitness journey.